clothes, Cena. Hey, I was talking to you, jerks. Foreign toy makers. Ha, our control. Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh, I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but... Uh, with the backing of big oil, huh? <laughs> we're digging away at the plastics. Ha. Guess I'm, I'm locked, locked on the outside, and I'm locked on the inside. Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. In conjunction with a secret doomsday cult. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Who are merely the pawns of... Huh? The dairy industry! In conjunction with... All them haters! Oh. Yeah. Not another tracking device! Isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world. Like I do. Ooh, sorry. Um, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Oh. oh. Right. Hi, Mom. Look at me. I'm tangled in a web of deception. How's Uncle G? The media. Uh, who are the puppet masters of? <laughs> Those are the kind of sharks. Or else maybe. Hmm. They Dairy industry! Uh, uh. Who? Uh, if I know anything, I know. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know. Are the puppet masters of the milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Wait. Organized labor. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Okay. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood?
only beyond the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. It is very hot here. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah! Creepy man! On the road crew. This is my stop sign. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. We have no use for running here.
stop. Come with us. <laughs> Who is the milkman? Why are you here? Who do you think you're fooling? What did the rainbow squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? Due to illegal disposal of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. We work in the sewer. Operator. On the road crew. Stop. This is my This stop is a sign. restricted area. are my hedge trimmers. Stop. Come with us. What is the purpose of the goggles? Why are you looking for the milkman? Who is the milkman? What did the rainbow squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? Testing. Testing. One, two. Three. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Yep. No pedestrian trap. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! I like to trim hedges. very important, and we are responsible for its upkeep. Got it! This hat box needs a hat box tag. Money for our organization, sir. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop.
is a fine watering can. May I ask how much you paid for it? needs a hat box tag. There are no documented cases of alligators found alive in sewers. We work in the sewer. I have a special phone. I like to trim hedges. Can I am you glad you me? are here to help me trim these hedges. Suspicious characters. Box needs a hat box tag. Stop. This is a restricted area. You have no flowers. Initiating arrest. Come with us. We know who's paying you. What is the purpose of the goggles? Who is the milkman? What did the rainbow squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? 
Plants need to have water poured on them because they have no hands to hold glasses of water. I enjoy watering. I am watering. Ha! I am sad. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Come with us. Who is the milk? Why? Where were you born? What did the rape? Where did you? Part of it. Stay away. A secret doomsday cult. Uh, or else maybe. Oh, right. The military industrial complex. And yeah, yeah, yeah. the dairy industry. Huh? Or else maybe. Pretty much control. I guess I'm locked hmm. outside. I'm locked on the outside and I'm locked on the inside. The military industrial complex with the full blessing of foreign toy makers. No, no, wait, I mean, the dog track. On the road crew. This is my stop sign. Being on a hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. I am on the road crew. This is my stop out. sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Come work on the phone line with us. I am glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. I am 
on the road crew. This Hello, is my fellow stop road sign. crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Special phone. I can listen to any phone conversation that I want, but do not because of my sense of professional responsibility. This job is unsavory, but it must be performed by someone. Widow. This 
must be the milkman's grave. But it's completely overgrown with vines. How am I going to get in there? The vines the are cemetery too thick. Is filled they with won't dead break. People. I yes! am sad. Burn! Man, I hope no one notices all this fire. The dead people are fire. underground, and I have brought flowers because I am sad. Oh. I am a sad. What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go because they think we'll think we know they know we know, so we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows. Not all milk is enriched. Hello, crew. fellow this road is my crew stop worker. Sign. Welcome to the road crew. Operator. This is a restricted area. I, I could use that, but I should probably just use my thing. Hey, are you following me? Hey, are you following me? Assassins are going to make fun of me.
work in the sewers. Hello, sewer worker. I think they got Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? My locations are clear. I'm worried the other assassins are going to make fun of me. I am in charge of assassinating important figures. I am an assassin. Watch out, fellow assassin. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. Watch out, fellow assassin. For money. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. Watch it. Adjustments need to be made when firing in the wind. location of the milkman never okay let's all just settle down and talk ah! where is the milkman who is the milkman what is the mission of the milkman uh, come closer 
closer. <coughs> and <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you. <coughs> Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. Stop, helicopter! Land and let me in! I want to see the view from up there, please. I am a helicopter pilot. I like to fly helicopters. We are looking for the milkman. We don't know where he is. Hello? Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on, your name isn't Boy. It's Royd, because you're such a big pain in my butt. If you see the lady tossing her cookies, run away. found on rooftops in clock towers and I am a deposit. skilled phone repairer watch out fellow assassin there seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower Phone repairer. I am a skilled phone repairer. Come work on the phone lines with us.
you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirt! Die! Die! God, God! Die! Die! delicious.
I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? JT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Yes! I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. There's that smell again. I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare. The good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great, but is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I 
better go. Lots of work to do. Talk to me when you want me to put you back where you were. Good luck, Raspy. Take a ah, now here's something every young Psy can- Now, you take that Psy core there. I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. Alright. Go get more air. I'm not getting anything. I must be out of range or something. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Radio. This is how he was unknowingly broadcasting his dreams of world domination to me and Lily. Where would you like me to?
Mr. Crawler, there's a big mess you gotta help me clean up. Really? Where? I'll get the jet. People are missing. Kids' brains have been stolen. Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Ah, pss, not my kind of mess. Won't you help? I'm a janitor. Let me know when somebody drops a carton of eggs or something. Where would you... Mr. Crowley, you gotta help. Kids are getting kidnapped and everyone's missing and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well now, you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits? Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get! Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that! Well then, Here's the first half of your reward. Now don't be lazy. Finish that list. Get!
Where would you like? My cobweb duster is empty. I need to go extract more cob. I don't have enough side cards to make a new side challenge marker. Agent Crawler? What is the current? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's... trying to burn down the asylum. Nothing can distract me from the mission. I will not rest until I've delivered the milk. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <gasps> ah! So... Did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome, I'm not the stage director. I don't track the entrances and exits. You're back to take away everything I've worked for because you're jealous. <laughs> Listen to him. Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Oh! If you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. See 
I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God. Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Bonita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. If you can get Bonita to take the stage again, then you're the star of my show, kid. First tag here. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. It needs a candle to work.
guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? Everything's fine, except that our production has no star. You get Bonita Soleil to perform again, and everything will be great. Her dressing room is behind the stage to the right and at the end of the hall. Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that? No, but I'm about to. Thanks, son. I'll leave you. Thank you. <laughs> Got it! 
Juanita Soleil is about to take the stage. Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Without her muse, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth, played tonight once again by Bonita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again. <gasps> the Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace. And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. What part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria Von Guten! What's... Famous star! Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what if I say? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while well, she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. 
can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy? Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script everybody. Let's practice. And action. His mighty steed? boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Out, 
standing. Must be out of range. Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one could use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay!
shady manager and rumored lover, must I truly ship my only daughter, Gloria, off to Hagatha Home School for Girls? Yes, and immediately, before she ruins our career. I mean, your career. Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself, personally. Ha <laughs> ha! Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Want to get up to the catwalks and action! Oh, sorry. Whatever is wrong, little girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years, and I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, I don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see them now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. Ow! Ow! <laughs>
is my sanctuary. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. I am the Phantom. Needs a hat box tag. This is my sanctuary. down there. or your next step will be your last. Whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> hmm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? Any fat critic. Just plain bad. Yeah, the crowd would have been disgusted had they managed to stay awake. Poor hot beam of oxygen. Kill him before he gets over here. Sunshine, the spirit of her youth, played to 
You're no good. This place stinks. It's worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler. And a little tacky gobble hanging from your neck. Ugh, your knees are ugly. And you snort when you laugh. <laughs> Handsome, the spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Finally, recognition for my acting talents. Who? What are you doing out here, Gloria? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants could use a little water, though. Now, where's that hose? This one through that helmet will never know. Better give Maloof's brain to Mikhail ASAP so we can protect it. Enforcements. That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. 
Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here. Chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Don't throw in the towel just yet. Greetings, Dr. Laboto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Laboto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Ah. Eh, look at him. Sad, isn't it? He used to be just an average loon. Didn't embarrass himself so much. Oh, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose! Milka's brain doesn't go invisible when I get close to it. These boys are too young to die. I'm too young to die. Delicious! I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Imagine we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. 
See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. Oh, man. So, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brained soon, I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I'd better go. Good luck. Cobweb duster is empty. I need to go You break that equipment and I'll lines. weave you into something useful. Like a rug! Take a look. Ah, now here's something every young si- Now, you take that si- Mmm, dream fluffs. Now, you- Ah, now here's something every I'll young si- Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? What else can I do you for? Now, I'll you take, take that it. si- Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. All right, go get more. Agent Cro what is I'm ready to Whatever.
excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Behind Napoleon you, Bonaparte. Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all. Can... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. What am I supposed to do? Sacre bleu! I have been hit! What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France? I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Ha-ha! <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... my pieces that is cheating hey don't touch my pieces that is Can't cheating get a good grip Get a good grip. <laughs> Can't 
can't get a good can't get a Carpenter's home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our core of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay. If I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Maybe. Good enough. needs a hat box tag.
This hat box needs a hat box tag.
Duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Man. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. Broke my beautiful bridge. Don't worry, darling. We'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. for the army of Fred Bonaparte and... Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man, and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Excuse me, Mr. Bonaparte. But how do you play this game? Ah, this game is so easy, even a child like you can play it. 
All my worthless descendant has to do is move a night piece into the center of my stronghold. Ha <laughs> ha! That his knight isn't even on the board. He's hiding out in that house. Well, maybe he's got a good reason. Our knights are good at storming strongholds, but they are no good at field combat. So he'll also need a strong militia to fight my soldiers. But he has no militia! His people are hiding out in their houses, hopeless, hungry, and unarmed! Yeah, but... So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. Not this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. Fred, shut up. Hey, Fred. The problem is people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast. Shut up. They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Good grip. Fred, you have accidentally done something right. I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu. I hate bridges. Ah! That is for kidding my father. Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges. You're making me mad.
So, now that the guy is gone, I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and Fred really cares. What's the pay? What? Well, this works hazardous. I want hazard pay. Well, I could talk to Fred. Not for me, you understand. I have to take care of my family once I'm killed. What's all this talk of death? We're going to win. Yeah, right. You just come back when you get Fred to pay up. So it's time to recruit some more troops. Hey, no prob. I'll just write up some more I care notes. How about writing a check, actually? Building an army is gonna cost us a little. I don't really have any money. Well, I did have this really valuable collector's coin. Passed down through generations from my father's father. Whatever. I haven't really seen it since I tried to melt it down. You what? I needed more weight in my Pinewood Derby racer. Not that it would have helped, the way I lost. Big surprise there. Can't get a good grip. Hey, you found my super valuable rare coin. Yeah. Can I have it? Knock yourself out. I got enough memories of my dumb ancestors hanging around. Uh. I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and Fred really cares. What's the pay? Hey, check out this coin I found. Money! Oh, man! Well, I'm off to die in battle, dear, for an incompetent leader who'll never know my name. I hope you remarry well. More of that negative talk. I just hope she doesn't spend it all on scrapbook making supplies. She's gone nuts about that stuff. Part of the reason I'm so ready to die. Anyway, let's go. War ahoy and all that stuff. Now, who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. We'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Not bad, Fred. What? What I do? You're doing better than usual. And I hate to end the fun, but I guess it's time to put an end to this, as usual. Guard the bridge to the stronghold with your life! None shall pass! Including soldiers for the army of the caring and generous Fred Bonaparte. Weapon. What? Weapon. That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special musket and I'll come out. I think I left it buried in some hay in that heavily guarded building over there. No. No. Then I'll sign up and kill me some Napoleon lovers. Got it? Be right back.
Hello? Sorry, I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh, okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. 
Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Ew. to serve the cause. So be it. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow, right on. Yes. a good grip. Delicious! I haven't had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday, but even those were not so full of spirit! I am truly inspired! Come! Let us storm Napoleon's stronghold and win this game for Fred Bonaparte! But do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon.
All right. Let's take Napoleon. Game? War. Whoop. Yes. Concentrate. War time. Right. Well. Stronghold. Strong.
Got it. Can't get a good grip. Hey, look, a musket. I'll bet I can arm our troops with that. Okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right, now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. Well, could you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. Where is he? Don't touch my pieces! That is cheat! Hey, don't touch my pieces! That is cheating! Can't get a good grip. Cool musket, huh? Oh, wait! Have to reload here! Die! Duh. I kill you! But I. How? Retreat! Everyone into the stronghold! Rest the drawbridge! Immediately! Jam the mechanism with something! Anything! Hey! You can't jam the gears! That's cheating! All is fair in love and war! You have fought well, but that is far as you shall go, my friend! Ha! We'll see about that! Fred? Was that you? Yeah! Come on! We're winning! All we have to do is unjam those gears! I'm on it, General! Can't get a good grip! Ta-da! That was easy. Stronghold stormed, game one. Oh, you have to storm the stronghold with your knight, you stupid fool. Oh.
are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. What? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all. Well, m maybe. Finally, I can resign myself back into my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me an orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you. Just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man.
What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. Perfect. And sad. All day she cries rose petal tears. And I can do nothing to help her, because my creation lacks something. And it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> God, are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, a little nick on the frame. Uh... Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Enjoy your new art there. Well... Enjoy your new art there. Well... Nice! Now I can get Edgar's cards. Trunk tag for this guy.
Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good. Because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Avoiding the tiger pouts requires some serious tumbling skills.
Sleep tight, kitty. First tag here. Uh. I hope these things are worth it, Edgar. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. fight bowls? I have a bowl problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about Elodio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now, why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Be good! <coughs> oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. I should find a proper hook for this painting, so it will come to life like that dog said.
like I was being looted. Introducing, fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings in Billings, Dragon! Yow! What's that smell? That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! Uh, it's part of the dragon costume, kid. in your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? Smell that guy. Yep. Here you go, Edgar. Perfect. One step closer to her. 
Trunk tag for this guy.
Starting to feel like I'm back in. You can write it off on your taxes as a loss. A catastrophic loss, even. Okay, what I was going for here was a creeping vine. The kind that grows up walls. <laughs> okay, what I was going for here was a creeping vine. The kind that grows up walls. Oof! I deserve much worse than that for painting this stuff. Enjoy that. 
<laughs> this painting, so it will come to life like that dog said. Pretty jumpy. What's the problem? I'm supposed to paint an ad for the big fight between Bingo the Matador and the Count Bull. Only the bull's on a rampage right through where the painting needs to oh, go. Dingo the Matador! I need to talk to him! Uh, his apartment's right upstairs. While you're there, maybe you can convince him to take care of the bull. You must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And that's a good lesson for you. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely. Which is how I do everything. As an advance, I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn.
God, I'm deaf. What? What? Can you hear me? You're getting sleepy, but not too sleepy to go paint the billboard. What? Oh my God, hey. God is dog, spelled backwards. Oh, oh wait a minute. God is cat, spelled backwards. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm shaving just like daddy. I think I solved your problem. Watch this. I had my doubts, but the devil cat has horns. Ah, ah. But I'm right as usual. Really nice job, genius. Now go back out there and finish the job. Good thing you cannot reach my face, then I'd be mad. Hip! Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Edgar, nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look, I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. I didn't. You can't hurt me at all. Because the coach taught me how to concentrate on not feeling the pain. Not like you, Smegly. You feel everything. Like when your girlfriend, Lana, dumped you for that cheerleader guy. You felt that so bad, you blew the state semifinals. You let all us wrestlers down. That's why we hate you. Torn apart, like this! I can't feel a thing. Does that hurt Um's feelings? How's that feel? You'll never break my concentration. Up and confused like yours. I'm telling you, it's impossible. I beat you just like I did in high school, loser. Wait, who am I? Here you go, Edgar. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. Please, 
boy. I must have those queens. Introducing, back from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle! Challenger needs to roll away from those aerial attacks. Edgar, the 
last card. Thank you. You said you would get them, and you did. Not everyone is as true to their word, you know. Well, now you can finish your tower. Yes. Now this can all end. Once and for all. Wow. It looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? Someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Edgar? Traditional bull fighting weapons. Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on Varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! O! Give me a B! They stole my B. happiness! Give me, Give me an L. My life! Give me an the state semi-finals! Everything! Oh, balls. Ah! No! Wait! Edgar! Ha ha ha! He never learns. Oh no! I can't believe I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. 
I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. <laughs> The mighty El Odio! I have all the power of the bull! Hmm. And all the weaknesses, I'll bet. Look out! Hit Ow! El Odio's hit! Watch it! Look out! Here comes El Odio! Ow! El Odio doesn't like that! to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, I, I always loved you more? Deliver this to my patron, Raz. You may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No bull? <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing! Hey, I like it. Ah, you see, the poor dumb beasts have no thumbs, so I ask you, how are they holding their cards? Uh, st uh, sticky paws? It should be impossible, and yet somehow they go on playing the game. In the end, Rasputin, aren't we all just dogs playing poker? Greetings, Dr. Lobota. One moment. If you're Dr. Lobota, what happened to your face? Where's your strappy jacket? Did you have a human hand reattached to your arm? Or 
You inmates are getting ever more clever, but you still can't fool old Crispin Whitehead. I'm an orderly, you know. I am not an imposter. Good day. Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favourite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate Look. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. <laughs> Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Oh. 